Hey there, fellow adventurers! Today, we're wrapping up for the ride of a lifetime through the enchanting countryside of Thailand. Picture this, zipping along wild curvy roads that snake through the heart of nature's paradise. Hairpin turns, lush valleys and epic mountain views are just the beginning. As we ride, we'll stumble upon charming villages where time seems to stand still. The locals greet you with warm smiles and curious eyes, sharing their stories and traditions. But the real showstopper? Those jaw-dropping mountain vistas that seem to go on forever. Get ready for some serious wow moments. But of course, no adventure is complete without fueling up on local cuisine. We'll be stopping at hidden gems to savor up on authentic Thai flavors. <laughs> okay, well, maybe I'm overselling this, but I promise that you will not get disappointed. So, if you're craving for thrilling curbs and stunning sceneries, now is the time to hit the road, get your motor running, and join us on this epic journey. And I was like, alright, you little smartass, but then we're driving. Okay, let's have a look. Oh, yeah, it's taking a video. That's good. Yeah. You okay? Very lucky that you have the Yeah, yeah, yeah. I go. Uh, yeah, yeah, very. I will just use a. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think I think they just found it. Maybe you want to pass it off the road. Yeah, a little bit. It looks so peaceful, like. You thought it was Israel. Oh really? Israel. Yeah, because they must be wondering. They see me, white guy. Then they see Vietnamese. Then they see Korean. Then they see Philippines. Like, what the hell? What are these guys? Multicultural motor gang. Yeah, we should have a name for our <laughs> restaurant in Sorchi's this area. There's only one comma. There's not even a review. Yeah, this is so small village, I think. I'm gonna clean it. Uh, wash it first with the soap. First. Actually, my arm is fine, but uh, this one can. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Should I have to take off my shoes? Well, I took off my shoes. Yeah. I think it's a polite way. Yeah. They have, this is, mm -hmm. Kona is a really good mm -hmm. one actually, but you can also have like an in, the, in this store they sell everything. <laughs> yeah. yeah, this is a yeah, convenience store. Living. Yeah. I feel like having some instant noodles. Oh. More like? More. Yes. Okay. Perfect. Captain Krat. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, let's have some food. Yeah. Wow. Mm. Yeah. Oh. Right, it's guys. not. It's not honey. It's a homey. How should I go take from the fridge for the? We have to give you a push. Kickstarter. Ah, oh, yeah. Just go back to this. We don't know. Let's see how the expert yeah. Battery low, huh? Battery, huh? So Do you leave it on like for No, long? no, 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 no. In gas car. No gas? In gas? Oh. No, no, it's full. It's full? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Oh, can we use the kickstart? Can we try that? Yes! Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nice. Well done. Maybe uh, maybe the, don't turn it off anymore <laughs> until you get home. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Look at this view. 
Oh my god. Amazing. This place unbelievable. It's quite tough here. It's quite a tough road, so you gotta be careful. There's a truck following me. It's like other country. Not yeah. like guys so now this guy was it did they say Hmong village yeah. so there's this tribe called Hmong I've heard this actually in Laos like few weeks back when I was with Victoria and uh, Rocky while doing um, a boat trip Nice to meet you. Good to meet you. Thank you for taking us. What's the name of the village? Oh, Pasha Samdan. Pasha Samdan. Most people come from the China. Mm. Uh, for me, from uh, it's my village is Chan. Chan. Yeah. For me, it's my brother. Brother? Brother? It's Kawai. Yeah. Why is mm -hmm. like that? You're very good English. <laughs> A little bit for the English. Yeah, yeah, yeah. English Nidnoi? No, but very good. Nidnoi, Nidnoi. 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 Nidnoi, uh, teacher, English. Ah, okay. Uh, you too. Uh, uh, hello. Sawadika. Hi. 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 It's very interesting Hi. in this school. Um, so the old guy who um, who saw us in the other town took us here. Pretty nice um, town. And um, yeah, they're just showing us around the school. And it's pretty cool. It's pretty much the same as in the Philippines. Um, there's kindergarten for one year, and then it goes from grade one to grade six. Eight days ago, I think. No. But unfortunately, in two days, I have to go back. Basketball. I play basketball. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, apparently, every Wednesday is just sports day for, for all the kids. For the whole of Thailand, actually. So they don't do anything but just choose whatever sports they want to do. Nice, nice, nice. Hey! But we cannot make it over the net. So the team is allowed three touches. You can have two touches if you want. This is so cool, I can make a picture. Hold on, this is crazy. Ah, you really have to lean into it. What left or right? Oh, 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 oh! He broke it! He broke it! Wait, wait. Too much force. Yeah. <laughs> too much power. Too strong, man. Too strong. Touching is bad. Wow. Maybe I'm not right. <laughs> <laughs> Now you can go ahead, bro. How do you call this? Uh, in Korean, we, we call it tak pek soup. Tak means chicken. Mm -hmm. And pek soup means poured with any... Poured with uh, only salt. So this has a little bit of opening. Some scratches there. I think it's all good, man. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, thanks man. Should we get some more for like lunch or just find it there? So I have three of these and then there I have one more tuna salad, one each. So feel free to grab some more, but I think this, this should take so us a little bit. Yeah.
The way of the nomadic life is pretty solitary in nature, but in the end, it's not a bad thing. A nomad is typically somebody who is rooted in the now, fully engaged with life as it happens. He sees beauty as not a one-size-fits-all concept. It is created by the observer, subject to the observer's own experiences and expectations. According to Lao Tzu, a journey of a thousand miles starts with a single step. What he meant is that life is a sequence of single moments, and the only reality is the step that you are taking now. Seen the yellow bus earlier? What about it? It's the bus that we took to <laughs> the monastery and. Oh back. really? Toothpaste <laughs> on my nice shirt. Oh no! Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Like, if we see something interesting, we stop right now. Oh, this is nice. Just barefooted there, I guess. Oh my god, it's so hot. It's like a hot spring. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in. Please join us again through this amazing journey.